Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the session. And uh, in the session today, we will talk about a functionality in which and um, so that basically means how we can create and uh, purchase order automatically. So there is a transaction code here that is called ME59N. So ME59N is the transaction code which allows us to create purchase order automatically. So if you go to um, SAP, so there is a transaction code ME21N which allow you to create PO manually. And then there is ME59N which basically uh, allows us to create purchase order automatically. So how does this transaction code ME59N works? So we will talk about this particular transaction code. Before you can do the transaction code, so there are a few prerequisites. So first in the vendor master, there is auto PO indicator. Secondly, in the material master, there is a automatic PO indicator. So those are the two things which has to be there. And uh, so we can, um, you know, we can, we, that is basically, um, that those are the prerequisites. Now let's continue with this, um, with a prerequisite. And we go back here. The first and foremost, we go to the vendor masters. We go to XK02. And we select our vendor for purchase organization and we select purchasing data. And then here for this vendor in this purchase organization, we have indicator that is called automatic purchase order. Okay. So that automatic purchase order, this indicator should be maintained here. So this indicator is one of the prerequisite automatic purchase order. The second one is creating a material master. So we go to material master MM01 and in material master, there is another indicator. So that's one, I create a material. So transaction code MM01 and uh, this is regular material. And uh, in this material, material type, raw material, mechanical engineering, we select basic data one, purchasing, storage one, accounting one, and then we hit enter. We're creating this material for plant 1000, store location 001, then we hit enter. And then we select a description of the material. We select base unit major. We select material group, hit enter. And here we can select and enter the purchasing group. And then we have something called automatic purchase order. Okay. So here we have a this indicator should be on okay this purchase order is called automatic purchase order indicator and uh, this is the one of the prerequisite which should be there in the system okay so that is second prerequisite after that everything else in this uh, po is in material is correct we select validation class you can enter here can enter the material number then we save it and PO got created and then we created a material number so this is the material 39676 okay so we are able to create a uh, material master so we have a vendor master and then we also have a material master now the only thing which is different in this vendor and material is this PO indicator everything else in this material and this vendor is same. Then we create a purchase info record, the same transaction code ME21N. So we go to go back. And uh, if you go back to purchase requisition, master data, info record, transaction code ME11, we enter the vendor, enter the material, purchase organization, plant, enter enter plant delivery time is two days standard quantity then minimum quantity whatever and then we enter some purchase price 
and hit enter, hit enter, hit enter, and then we save it. So we are able to save purchase in full card. So what happened? We are able to save the purchase in full card. So we have created a purchase in full card. Now the, the fourth step which you want to do is creating a contract, the quantity contract transaction code ME31K. So we go back, go back. Then we go to agreement contract ME31K. ME31K is a transaction code which allows us to create any kind of a quantity contract. We select the same vendor 100300, 100300. 100, 100. We select agree, agreement type MK. MK is agreement type for the quantity contract. So we select quantity contract here. Quantity contract. Then we enter the purchase organization 1000. We enter purchasing group 00. We enter the plant 1000. And then we hit it. Okay. And after that, we say that how long this contract is valid we say this contract is valid till the end of december 31st and then we hit enter and we enter the material so this is the material number okay so this is the material number we created 39676 39676 we enter quantity so target quantity how much quantity is there so thousand pieces whatever Purchase price eleven dollars, and then we save it. So see the message in the bottom. Quantity contract got created for four six zero zero two eight five two. We make a note of this contract. So this is our quantity contract now, and we can make a note of this quantity contract. And after creating a quantity contract, the next thing which we want to do, we want to create a purchase requisition transaction code for creating purchase requisition is ME51N. So we can go to transaction code ME51N and using transaction code ME51N. Um, okay. So ME51N, we can we can have um, creating a purchase requisition because purchase requisition is a purchasing demand. So we can create a purchase requisition for the same material, same transaction code ME51N is a standard purchase requisition, nothing different into it. And then we enter the material. So this is the material, for example, uh, material, material. So material number is this. We make a note of this material. So we enter the correct purchase requisition. We enter the correct material, the one which has indicators. So we have to make sure the material which you are entering are the material in which auto PO indicator is on. Then we enter the quantity, say 100 pieces. Enter the plant, say 1000 pieces. Hit enter. So what system does? It did determine my agreement. So this was the agreement 46002852. Agreement 2852. This is my, because we have a contract, therefore, this vendor 100300 get automatically assigned to purchase order line it. And then we send it. See the message in the bottom. And the message, it says purchase requisition number 100311133 has been created. Okay. And then we make a note of purchase requisition. So what we did, we created a purchase requisition. And this purchase requisition we just created in a standard purchase requisition transaction code ME 51N 100311133. Okay. So, so far, all these transactions are standard transactions. Now we go back to the auto PO create transaction, which is ME 59N. So, ME 59N is our uh, transaction code for basically creating purchase order automatically. So we click on to it. <clears throat> so this is automatic creation of purchase orders from purchase requisitions. So if you have a purchase requisition and for those purchase requisitions, if you have auto PO create indicator in material and vendor, then system will automatically will create 
purchase order. So we enter purchasing group, we enter purchase organization, we enter the vendor, we enter the plant, and then we say, okay, new purchase order to be created for a for a uh, company code and for a contract. So after that, we hit execute button, and then it can take a few seconds and minute to uh, execute because there might be multiple transactions which system may be proceeding so we can go back to our creation of purchase requisition <clears throat> so that is what we see here okay so here this is the uh, purchase requisition created automatically so for this contract Four six zero 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 two eight five two. Four six zero 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 two eight five two. So this was the purchase requisition. Uh, this was the contract we created. So referring this contract for this purchase requisition one zero 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 three one one three 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 one one three three. And uh, we created purchase order. So it's a purchase order number four five zero zero two one four nine. Order type ONB, purchase organized 1000, purchasing group 00, purchase order got created automatically. If I want to see the detail, I can see the detail also. System says purchase order got created successfully. If I want to see this purchase order, so I can click on this button. I can go to the detail and then I can see that this is the PO got created automatically for the same vendor 100300, 0, and for the material, 196.76, 196.76. And uh, that is how system automatically create purchase order. Thank you.